young pastors, be careful. After Sunday service, they will be the first to meet at home with one big basket, with profit, with meal, or everything inside. Come talk specifically to pastor, young pastors. I just felt like doing this video because I looked around and discovered that where Christianity is going to is is not something good because um, the happenings everywhere around the church and everything is making some people even tired of coming to church. And now we have young pastors arising, so we have to advise them and tell them what to do. So please, if you think there's any other advice you feel like you give all these pastors, make sure you put it down in the comment section below. So now, the this video is going to be talking about advice to young pastors. My one advice I have here is never make money your aim. You see, many pastors come to the church to make money, come to the church to make offering money, come to the church to make money from tithe. That is not the main reason you should open a church. That should not be the main reason you should go into pastoral ministry. Money should not be your aim. Those are secondary things. The reason why you are a pastor is to save souls. Nothing more than that. Do you get me? There's nothing more than that. The reason you are a pastor is to save souls. Jesus said that he has come to save those who are lost. So Jesus has come to save those who are lost. So you as someone who have taken over for him, your main aim is to come and save. Your main aim is to come and save those who are in the bondage of the devil. You are not in the ministry to make money. Then number two, be prayerful. Now, as a pastor, I must also tell you this. It is something usual. It is something normal. The Bible says what? Pray with that season. It is something that should be normal. Because as a pastor, which is fighting against you, which are fighting against you, you need miracles for your church to be full. You need miracles for people to come. You need miracles so that people will come and see the goodness of God. So you can't tell me I'm a pastor and you can't put the eyes on the blind. You can't tell me I'm a pastor the lame cannot walk. Jesus is all this, so you are following the step of So Jesus said that you will do greater than what he has done. So you make sure you pray. You make sure you live a life of prayer so that all these things that manifest in the life of Jesus, even greater, will happen in your life. And um, number three, be careful of female church members. <laughs> this is one thing you should know. Be careful of it. They will cook food for you. They will bring food. Ah, Papa, I just felt like giving you. She wanted to marry her. Young pastor, be careful. After Sunday service, they will be the first to meet at home with one big basket, with profit, with meal, or everything inside. Why? They wanted to marry them. They want to get your attention. So be careful of female church members. Be careful of them because <laughs> the devil can use them to do anything. Then we can use them. So then I tell you, ah, sir, I'm very sick. I can't come to church. Please, can you come to my house and pray for me? Don't go alone. Carry somebody with you. That's why I love this stream called Games. It's a, it's a new series on the Tony Koju channel. Just after this, you can check it out. Games. Watch that movie. You understand what I'm talking about. So as a young pastor, please make sure you are careful of female members. Number four. As a young pastor, surround yourself with prayer warriors. The Bible says, for wrestling against flesh and blood, but against principalities and against powers, against the love and darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in what? In high places. So, you can't fight that battle alone. You need experienced people in prayer warriors. You need the prayer warriors to pray for you. The prayer band, they will always be there to pray for you, to support you spiritually. So, that is about Remember when... Um, Joshua was fighting against the Amalekites, and um, what happened? Moses went to the top of the mountain, raised his hand, and told um, Joshua that anytime he raised his hand, Israel will be winning. And it was true, Moses was raised his hand, Israel was winning. All of a sudden, his hand was getting weak and was dropping it. It was Aaron and another person that had to help him. 
to raise those hands up so that is the work of a prayer warrior when you are tired they are there to assist you they are there to help you in prayers so make sure you surround yourself with prayer warrior as a good minister so then um the fifth one is seek advice from your mentor anything you are doing make sure your mentor is evolved that's why i'm telling you watch this in games games with only koju youtube china after this video go there and watch that film it's a series movie you know what i'm talking about anything you are doing as a child of god as a young pastor make sure your mentor is involved your mentor should be involved i get me that's the main thing because he's the one that grew up in the faith he's the one that preached to you he's the one that be praying for you so anything you do make sure your mentor knows about it then number six um which is the last one is uh be grounded in the word of god you see many pastors preach heresies today they preach nonsense they preach things that are not even right why they don't know the word of god that's the main thing the word of god is the only true thing is the only thing that all christians need to hear your members need to hear is the word of god you can't come to the altar and start teaching english no you can't come and start teaching my mouth no it is the word of god they want to hear that's your specialty as a man of god so for you to be able to give them the right food because the word of god is a food for you to give them the right food what do you have to do you have to study your bible you know it's page by page you can't tell me you are a man of god you have not finished your bible what are you preaching you see that's nonsense so make sure you are grounded in the word of god you read the word of god daily and then you see your ministry begin to blaze up so now this is where we stop the video if you have any comment you want to make any question you want to ask anything you want to add to what i've said today please make sure you put that in the comment section don't forget to like my videos please share them share my most importantly please share my video and subscribe i'm going to bless you thank you very much see you in my next video it's like a dark cloud